technology and the problem of other mind. People, it's very difficult for two people, even from the same family, to think about the same thing, the same way, agreeing on a principle. How much more two people from different places coming together to build a family. Of course, there are bound to be some moment of misunderstanding and uh, disagreement. But one central solution is love. One central solution for family problems is love. If you love your wife, if you love your husband, no matter what he or she does, you will always find an excuse for the person you love. Sometimes you may love somebody, but forces or circumstances can make it difficult for that love to prosper. That is where it is necessary to commit married life to the hand of God. Because if you remove it from God's guidance, expect anything any time. is a difficult road. It is true, priests do not marry. But if you bring the book of canon law, I think about two, two over three of the book is discussion about marriage and married life, uh, laws concerning marriage and married life. So, so in theology, so we know everything in and out. Again, for a married marriage to succeed, a man must be a man, and a woman must be a woman. If a woman wants the man to bend to her own wishes, or to behave the way we want, the way she wants, that may make that man to move away from manhood and become something else. And if a man loses his manhood, his wife will no longer like him again because what she expected will no longer be there. So a man must always strive to be a man. So also a woman should always be and remain a woman. Forget about development, technology, whatever you call it. Our forefathers, we are not foolish. They had principles guiding the family life. And that kept them and the family intact. So if we want to succeed in married life, we need from time to time look back 
ask how we are our forefathers and our foremothers doing it <laughs> and learn from their own lifestyle. Again, from my own observation, I would say that any married person who has got grandchildren should be a consultant in married life. Any married person who has got grandchildren should be a consultant in married life or in marriage. That the way should be, but unfortunately, that Latin word which says never that or non habit. Nobody gives what he or she does not have. Makes it imperative that every married person should do a lot of homework. Make sure that the shoe you are wearing is fitting properly. It's not a joke. Because Whatever the parents are doing, children are observing. And before you know it, your children become parents as well. And in this occasion, it's also necessary to call the young people to think about this issue of marriage and married life. Because our brother and sister who are celebrating their 35 year today, there was a time they were young boy and young girl remaining with their parents not bothered about the future. And when the time came for them to start the journey, they came together like a joke, like whatever. The journey started before they knew it. Children came on board. So young people around <coughs> don't think is quite far away. Start now preparing yourself for your own future and looking at what you see around you can envision or start planning how your own family life will be. Or if you are not interested in those areas, you can come and join us here. Yeah. We need more priests, more reverend fathers and sisters and brothers. So those who are not interested in a married life can come and join us. That brings me to the important issue of ritual of passage. There is in Igbo culture what we know as the ritual of passage. That is every human being moves from stage of life, from one stage of life to another. When we were small in the village, 
we were playing like any young small children. But time came when our age grade, what was raining for us that time was masquerading. To be admitted into a masquerade group. From there, you move on to other age grade activities. And each of them carries an initiation. And when you are initiated, you become a member of that level and keep moving. Then in the church, you are initiated as a member of the church through baptism. From there, communion, confirmation, then marriage, and other sacraments. And each initiation prepares you for a stage of life. Just as marriage gives people status, when you are married, you got a status. And it's very important to respect that status. Because if you do not recognize that you have a status, is a, a set of life you, you need to fulfill, you can mess it up. But if you recognize it and hold it with honor, you will enjoy it and be able to pass it to others. Finally, I think it is an incumbent on the married people in every society to stand up against all the social aberration that is going on all over the world in the name of marriages. Is the church who has authority to say it. So married people should stand up and protect their marriage and speak out not anything goes anywhere claiming marriage. The other day, somebody sent me something on WhatsApp and saying, oh, Reverend Father was saying this. I said, I called the person by the phone, asked him who ordained that person. He said, no, I don't know, but he wears a Roman collar. I said, no. Kuklus non fatit monacum. A who does not make a monk. Yeah, Ndi Lorodina Munye, the married people, you need to stand up and protect married life and save the society. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, we are going to the next stage. Chief and Law Lanzengwa will come out and renew their vow of marriage. 
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Please, I want to remind everyone here that the mass is still going on. Can you please take a seat? Take a seat, the mass is still going on. Thank you. Dearly beloved, Zemwa and Novina, Lovenia. You are here today to renew your marriage vow with an eternal bond before the church. I show you of the prayers of our community that God may pour his abundant blessings on your love and help you to carry out the duties of marriage state. Zemwa Novinia. Since you wish to renew your marriage vows for each other, Please join your right hands and express your intention before God and His Church. I will say this on behalf of you. Zemwa and Lavinia, Lord, how you say it together? Can you say it? That's it. How you say it? Lord, before your altar, that five years ago, we promised to love each other and abide by your will and abide by your will in our married life. Today, full of happiness, we come, come back to your presence. We give you thanks for the many blessings you have bestowed on us during these past years. Once more, we, we, we pledge our loyalty to, to each other and to you and, and your church. Once more, once more we take each other for better, for worse, for, for, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, in health, until death do us part. Bless us, 
Bless us, O oh Lord. Bless our family. Bless our family. Bless our relatives. Bless our relatives and friends. Bless our priests. Bless, Bless our, priest. our priests. And all those who in one way or another have been. And all those who in one way or another have been. Have been instruments of grace in our lives. Grant that, that they may always see us, us, us an example of general Christian living. An example of general Christian living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I, by the authority of the church, calling on all those present here as witnesses, confirm and bless the renewal of marriage, marriage vow, which you have contracted in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless the Lord, this rings so that your servants in Zamwe and Lovinia, who will wear them, may live in mutual love and unbroken loyalty through Christ our Lord. Continued love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wear this ring as a son of continuous love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. plan of his providence, God, our Almighty Father, has given married love, his faithfulness, a special significance in the history of salvation. Let us therefore call upon him, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. 
Father of all holy, the faithful one, you ask for and respond to fidelity to your covenant. Fill with your blessings your savers who are celebrating their 35th wedding anniversary. Lord, in your mercy. You live in eternity with the Son and the Holy Spirit in oneness of life and communion of love. Grant that this year, save us, be mindful of the covenant of love they place to each other through the sacrament of marriage and never fail in fidelity. Lord, in your mercy. In yeah, your providence, you have ordained that all genuinely human experiences to become ways of leading the faithful to share in the mystery of Christ. Grant to your servants serenity in good times and bad, and that we to stay close to Christ and to live for him alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. It is your way that married life should be a lesson in Christian living. Grant that all husbands and wives may be witnesses to the wonders of your son's love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. May we join our prayers with the product of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Her Mary. Amen. We add our own private attention. O oh God, the life of the family is founded on the plan of your own providence. Your mercy receive the prayers of your servants. Grant that by imitating the holy family, they may reach their joys of your home and together praise you forever. We add this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we say please. that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive in your kindness, Lord, the offerings we bring in gladness before you, and in your fatherly love, watch over those you have joined in a sacramental covenant. 
we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, their rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be shared for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all our bishops and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who you have brought. Remember, be mindful also, Lord, of Remember all those who have been brought to their wedding day so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph has spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have passed, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be good heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Can you wear a better no onions up or tiny goose rani? Wear a book who won't Oh, 
Let us pray to the Lord for Chief Madoka and his law, Lavinia, who come to the Lord as they celebrate their 35 years of holy matrimony, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ they may always be bound together by love for one another. Let us pray for them in silence. Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, male and female, you created them, so that as husband and wife, united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who to reveal the great design you formed in your love, will that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of Christ with his church might become manifest